Subvision Live Maps for System Center 2012, creating a new service. Creating a service in Live Maps is very simple using several wizards that they've made available in their start page. The first option is to discover service, and this uses predefined templates for Link, SharePoint, Active Directory, or Microsoft Exchange. We can also create a service from scratch by picking objects from the component browser on the left hand side. This is very similar to creating a distributed application in System Center Operations Manager. You can also import an existing distributed application that's already been defined in Operations Manager. When importing a distributed application that's already been created in Operations Manager, you also have the ability to maintain a live sync connection between the distributed application and Operations Manager and the service and live maps. For this demonstration, I'll use the Create Service wizard. And store the customizations in a new management pack. If you ever use the distributed application designer in Operations Manager, uh, the interface is fairly the same in that you can choose different objects already created in SCOM to add to your service. A nice thing about the way they organize the services in Live Maps is they place the components in an end user perspective, an application perspective, and infrastructure perspective. This is great so that you can tailor your dashboards to different support groups and audiences in your organization. In this case, I'm going to create an empty service because I want to come back through and have dynamic memberships for my components. So I'll go ahead and click through and not add any components at this time. And then once we hit finish, Live Maps will create the new service in Operations Manager. As it creates the service, it also creates service levels in Operations Manager. The service has now been created in Live Maps, and behind the scenes, it's also created a distributed application in Operations Manager as well as created service levels for our three perspective, end user, application, and infrastructure. We can click to the SLA tab and see the goals that have been created for you. These can be customizable through the service dialog. We can now begin adding components to our service in Live Maps. We'll start with the end user tab. We can use our component browser on the left hand side to get a clue about what in your perspective monitoring we like to add. Uh, the two for this application would be the Cyrus and Web Portal, but we want to make it an automatic membership rule. So we want to find the web application class. And then filter on display name. This assures that any new web portals that are put up with the keyword Cyrusin will automatically be added to our service. This is very much like a dynamic group in Operations Manager. Next, we'll add our application service to the Application tab. We will use membership rules to add our custom service. and add it to our application perspective. In addition to our application class service, we might want to add databases that make up this application. Again, we'll select Add Rule, and we'll choose SQL Database. Many times applications have a standardized database name, and that's a convenient way to uh, organize the databases in an application. For this example, we'll just use the Operations Manager databases. We show the matches from our query filter and select OK and add our databases. Continue on for any other application services that you'd like to add to your service.
And finally, we'll add some infrastructure components to our service. These infrastructure components could be thought of as Windows operating system, storage, exchange services, anything that is not directly part of the application but should be tracked as part of an SLA. We'll now add some infrastructure components. In this case, we'll use host group membership. If you refer back to an earlier example, we created a Windows Server group that contained our custom application class. And now we have component group of all Windows OS that make up this application service.